things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for Tuesday, November 2nd. All right, we had a, uh, a new Dark Pool level yesterday, not as big as the previous one at 458.35. So that's why I went below that, bearish below 458. And I'm going to be bullish above 4. 61.50. There were just quite a few pivots. That was the best level this morning. Let's head on over to the IWM, the Russell 2000 ETF. No new dark pull activity. It's been super quiet, but what a move it had yesterday. Bullish above. By the way, we are above that massive level to 29.81 that we got in mid June. Yeah, it's uh, November. It took all the way to November to go above that so bullish above 236 today and uh, bear below 232 my levels are fairly wide didn't really like anything in between let's go to the qqqs we did have a new level yesterday at 386.10 2.4 million those are those late prints that we get in it's like the hidden dark pool activity that they give us uh, 24 hours late and when it gets heavy we get big moves so we keep track of that uh, bullish above 387.25 and bear below 385 all right let's head on over to the futures let's, let's see what the e-minis are doing all right e-minis uh, we're going to be bullish above 46.15 and bear below 45.96 Let's head on over to the NASDAQ futures. We're going to be bullish above 15,930 and bear below 15,799. And you can see we are in between those levels right now. So we'll see which way that goes. But in the meantime, let's check out the oil futures. These guys have been all over the map. Lots of dark productivity. We do have a lot of oil earnings coming into play this week. We had BP this morning. I just yeah, I didn't love the trade setup, but we have Marathon. We have quite a few reporting this week, so we'll see. But today we're going to be bullish above 84.25. All right, I just went above this pivot. Let's see if we can do it. And bear below 83.25. We did go below it just now and tag look at that tagged 83 my first target pretty much right and bounce those price levels dollar increments are where computers are loaded to buy you see the big blue volume bar that's spiked up here as soon as we hit it yep that's why i use them as targets and i also use them as levels to go bullish above bearish below among all of these pivots which are phenomenal so let's go to the gold futures all right, gold futures are going to be bullish above 1802 all the way up here. I went high. I didn't like there's some moving averages on the daily chart. Uh, bear below 1788. Yeah, if we cannot hold this Camarilla, this green line below the person's pivot, yep, look out below. All right, Bitcoin. Big moves for Bitcoin futures. Holy cow, up 3% today. We are going to be bullish above 64,000 big price level, bear below 61,000. All right, let's head on over to individual stocks. Pfizer had earnings. Of course, the prints come first. All right, but we're going to be bullish today above 45.50 and bear below 45 for Pfizer. Let's, uh, oh, but keep in mind that dark pull print. 44 alexa that. stop she's listening to the whisper uh you see this 2.5 million at 44.35 that's going to be our target a lot of times they do like to play print pong if it starts to move down all right but we'd be bearish below 45. uaa under armor had earnings and wow look at that move we're going to be bullish above 24.20. We just went above that. And bear below 23.80. Let's check out our next one. Fuel cell. 
big moves today bullish above 940 and you can see well sometimes the trade happens pre-market which is why i do send these out individually every morning so i know a lot of you probably jumped on this i hope if not you got to jump on the next level but we do have some major moving averages up ahead here the 250 simple moving average is going to be our next big target all right yeah about 10 37 all right so there's still some more room on this one it's uh, definitely having a nice move okay bear below nine let's head on over to amc haven't put this one on in a while just like the chart i like the volume this morning yep it popped up on my list but i'll tell you what i liked i like this gap in the chart right here on the upside so bullish above 38.50 and uh, bearish below 36.50 it goes below the 8 ema below the peanut butter and jelly yep that's the downside trade all right let's go to xle bullish above 59.21 bear below 58 okay yeah 58 is below that jelly also we had a dark pull print at 58.19 recently we are kind of uh, tagging it today, so we'll see. FCX having some moves this morning. Yeah, it did a little bit of a pop and drop scenario. Is it gonna pop again, bullish above 39 or drop there below 38? Facebook, yep. Facebook is in an interesting spot, which is why I put it on here. I like it. We already tagged the 30 simple moving average yesterday, so those computers sold a lot. Um, it's, it'll have an easier time breaking above, but bullish above 332.50, that is a dark pool level. See if we can break above that. Bear below 329, below the peanut butter. Yeah, below that 200 exponential moving average on the five minute chart. Let's go to Mara. Mara's moving with Bitcoin this morning. Bullish above 58.20 and bear below 56.50. There you have it. Those are your whispers for Tuesday, November 6th. Second. Until next time, happy trading.